Good evening from the city of Gonda in Ethiopia, very north of the country. I've actually been here a couple days, but the main reason I came here was in the last video, which was the Samaian Mountains. Let me just quickly show you my... <laughs> Let me just quickly show you my... Um, flies everywhere. My hostel that I was staying in last night. So this is the hostel on top of the mountain. With a pretty good view, can't deny it. Look at that, view of Gonda. Quickly show you inside, yet again the only tourist here. Slugging out area. Some weird man on the wall. Two locals chilling. A Christmas tree. It's nearly April and the Christmas tree is still up. Let me uh, show you my room. And this is where I've been sleeping. Right here for the last couple of nights. So yeah, nice and basic. Can't complain. So whenever I need to go into the town, I have to come down here and walk past these guys. And it was funny, the other day he said, hey, French, come here, come have a go. Where else in the world would that happen? Just some random guy goes, yeah, get on my digger thing. But, um, yeah, like I said, I've only stopped here for a couple of days. All right, guys. <laughs> I've only stopped here for a couple of days. Um, I'm on my way to Lalabella. Lala Bella. Um, yeah, it's a 12 hour bus, which leaves at 5 a.m. tomorrow. And tomorrow is my birthday. So I'm spending my birthday sat on my ass for 12 hours. So yeah, um, let me leave you with one final view of the city and I'm gonna end things there. These guys wanna be in my video. So I'm going to end things here, leave you one final view of Gonda, and I'll see you in the morning at 5am for my bus. Emma Segalato. Thank you. I don't know how you say it, it's a long word. But there you go. Gonda City. What a place. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Oh god. Welcome to Lala Bella, my $15 incredible hotel room. Look at that. Lovely big bed, lovely big bathroom. I'm going to be needing that. And a lovely view of Lala Bella. Look at that. Okay, end things on a high. I'm in a great place. And I'll see you guys in the morning when I'm going to discover um, all the things that you can do around here because there's a lot to see and it looks pretty amazing. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, it's the next morning here in Lala Bella. I'm with my guide for the day. Introduce yourself, brother. My name is Adi Soyano. I'm going to be his guide. And we're going to 12 churches, right? 10. 10. 10. Church in number. And I've got the local outfit on, which is called what? Sorry? What's this called? Natala. 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 Um, I'll write that below. I'm guessing it's not spelled like the chocolate spread. Uh, we're heading into which church? We are going to visit the first group church. Yeah. It's called Beta Madanaram, Beta Mariam, Beta Maskal, Beta Denagal, and Beta Golgota. It's Sunday today. There's a lot of people, like hundreds of people, all gathering around. Yeah. So um, let's go check it out. Today is the fasting day. Yeah. The fast of Lent. So it's the main day for. Yeah. It um, lasts 54 days. 50. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. We go through this way. This way. Yeah. Let's check it out. Salam. Good morning. Hello. So this is the oldest church here. The oldest? Yeah. Or All what? The churches were carved out the same time. 
Oh, but how old is this one? Hmm? Do you know how old this church is? Uh, they have, they were excavated during 1156. 1156? They spent 23 years. The wow. churches were carved out by a single person. A single person made that church? Yeah, called St. Lalibela. Wow. It's a miracle. Can we go inside? You can't go inside there. Yeah. Let's get closer. Shoes off. What are they doing? Hmm? What are they doing? What they're doing? Chanting. Yeah, they're chanting. And you said all these people here are waiting for a blessing? Yeah. By who? The cross kept behind the curtain. Okay. And the priest will bring out the cross. Yeah. And take them, take to there to bless the people. Ah, okay. Wow, what an experience. It's like going back like a thousand years in times, like biblical times in there. Everywhere around here. What a place. Okay, so about two hours have passed. I actually went back to lie down because I don't know what it is. The, I think it's the altitude here. It's like 9,000 feet, but it's like so dry. It's like hard to breathe. So I had to go back, lie down, come back. And now there's literally no one here, right? The mass is finished? Yeah. And now we've got no we've got a view from on top of it here. Look at that. Amazing. And you were saying normally tourists, what, 60, 50 a day, maybe a hundred? Yeah, maybe a hundred. In our very sixty. Yeah, and now it's just me. Me. I've uh, got this whole place to myself. Only you and your guide. Yeah. It's crazy. But yeah, look at that. Incredible. This is the original tunnel? Yeah. Wow. Okay. We are going to visit the next church. Yeah. To access there, we have access only through the tunnel. Through the tunnel? Yeah. The tunnel is 25 meters long and it's completely dark. Right. So we're going to put all light here. Put on a light? You can't put on a light? Yeah, it's forbidden, strictly forbidden. Okay. So we will go with the touch of our right hand side on the right side wall. I assure you it's perfectly safe. I trust you, brother. Yeah. Let's go. Because it's the symbol of hell. You have to experience. Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Without light. And with your left hand, the ceiling. Oh, you touched the left ceiling? Yeah. Of course, cold in here. Yeah, very cold. Oh, this is horrible. Don't worry. I can't, you can't see a thing. <laughs> Don't go too far in front. Where are you? Only for two minutes walking. Don't worry. I feel like I'm going to walk into a wall. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. 25 meters. The wall's getting higher, I'm like stretching my arm. I will tell you when you need to touch your the ceiling, okay? I'm still touching it. Yeah, okay. If you reach, you can. Yeah, I'm still touching the ceiling. Yeah, as long as you... Oh, I just banged into the wall. Now, you are a tour guide, right? You're not leading me to something. I could see the light right now. I can't see anything. Because I blocked. Where are we going? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, can you see now? Not a thing. Try to see a hint. Oh, just about. Yeah. Is this where tourists always go? Yeah. 
This is mental. I always bring tourists through this way. Ah, oh, something in my eye. I'm not there. Yep, I can see the light. I think uh, <laughs> you are the worst tourist to pass this time. <laughs> I'll be editing that out of the video. The tourists visit the churches. They pass through this. The only access to the church only through the... That's the only way through yeah. this, this uh, cave. So the tunnel represents hell. Hell. The church represents heaven. This church here in front of us? We Christians believe when someone dies, his soul will go either hell or heaven. Yeah. If he is wicked, you know wicked? Yeah. If he commits sin, his, his soul will go hell. And if he is righteous, he will go heaven and uh, reside there with God. Brilliant. So this church represents heaven where the tunnel, hell. It felt like hell. <laughs> <laughs> so you said this one is the most beautiful one. Yeah. Yeah, can't complain with this one. Look at that. Oh, incredible. Turn right. Turn right. So this church is called African Petra yeah. because obviously it looks like Petra. the wonder of the world, well, Petra. The house of the church is called House of Libanos. House of Libanos. Yet again, I'm the only tourist here. Roman saint. We can go inside. Pretty amazing. <laughs> yes. The church is built under cave. It's built, oh yeah, I can see, yeah. It's not natural cave. So this is the church yeah. and the caves behind it. It's quite a small one. Yeah, the smallest. The smallest cave. Yeah. Church, the sorry. Looks big from it does, yeah. yeah. You come in, it's, it's quite small. As big as, as the so others. The smallest one. Okay, we have arrived at the main church now, St. George. The one you see online, I'm looking at right now. I'll tell you what, it takes a lot to impress me. That is impressive. Check this out. Look at that, that is amazing. Where's the access for to go down? How many times have you seen this church? Me? Yeah. Many times. Over a thousand? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. yeah? Because not only I came here for today, but also for praying purpose. Of course. Yeah. I always come to say prayer. Yeah. Since my childhood. Since your childhood. Yeah. I think La Labella is the most cultural thing, place I've ever been. Yeah. Like it really feels like you're going back in time. Wow. Okay, into the last church of Lalabella. Salam. And this is the last church that Saint uh, that Lalabella built. Pretty amazing. Incredible Ethiopia. Amazing. Let me just show you how many flies are here. Look. Go on. Yep. Another one. Another one. Another one in my ear. They are everywhere here. All right, then. So that concludes all the churches here in Ethiopia. Thank you, brother, for showing me around. Okay.
had an amazing little tour. Thank you, thank you. Um, having a good time. Yes, a very good time. Uh, I'm going to head back now to the hotel, chill out. Pff, by the way, there's so many flies here. It's probably the only annoying thing about it. Um, but incredible place. Like The history here is just amazing. Ethiopia is definitely one of the best countries I've been. Um, I'll leave you one final pff, glimpse of um, St. George's Church. Look at that.